Hey everybody, what's going on? All right, it is middle of October, and I'm out with Spencer and Adam. And we're setting up camp at a new spot for me. It's a little bit of a honey hole for Adam, so you can just picture it just absolutely dripping with honey. Like that. No, no, that's disgusting. Never mind. Um, yeah, we're setting up our camp, and we'll be here for the next five or six days hunting deer, catch fish, and drink a beer. So if you're interested, let's get going. So it's like an hour later, and we got camp set up. Let's take a little tour. Side by side under the tarp, good Adam. Spencer didn't, he didn't cheap out on the chips on this trip. Never do. Never do. We got a barbecue, stove. Actually put up some string lights on an LED, LED string lights. And then we got a Jenny, so we have lights around camp. And then we got three cots in the wall tent and we're setting up the wood stove. It's a pretty sweet camp. It's not always this good. Oh yeah, and check this out. Should be fun. Spencer, give us a camp to her, buddy. We're set up. Let's get it. <clears throat> hey, y'all. No, you fucking do it. Adam, Adam. camp to I don't do that bullshit. Okay, I have to do it. Anyways, we're all set up at camp. We got our string lights going. We got a Jenny going. We're having Montana's ribs for dinner. Forgot the burgers at home. Uh, cranberries. We're hooked up. This is good, and I think Got the stove going as well. Doesn't get much better than that. We're excited to get out, hunt some deers tomorrow, so wish us luck. Dry October, too. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> Pretty close to November now, I think. All right, y'all, we're all tucked in for bed. You know what time it is. That's all right. We got the projector going, and we're watching Edge of Tomorrow. <laughs> Time to go hunting. Well, that was probably half an hour ago, but we're going hunting. You guys heard that but that was a rifle shot get a doe standing right there looking at me so that rifle shot had to have been Spencer or Adam I'll wait to hear them on the radio see what's up it's exciting hey, it's just a doe looking at me she bounced right by me like five yards it's crazy all right my GoPro died so we're filming with the cell phone but I just got on the radio with Spencer confirmed deer down spencer's on the scoreboard i'm so excited for him he's been hunting for five six years with me had a few close calls but he finally got it done we got a deer down it sounds like it's a good buck over to spenny all right so making our way up on this beauty that we just put down As you can see guys, beautiful deer here, three by three mule deer. Yeah, that's all she wrote. Well done. Thanks buddy. All right, so I found the guys. You see what they have over here. Well, I see tines. Oh, wow. It's many. Betty. Oh, it's a great deer. Nice job, boys. Look at him. It's a hell of a deer, Spencer. Not bad for a first buck. What do you think? I'm gonna be eating. That was total spot stock by him too. He just he spotted and everything. Yeah. It's awesome. Sweet. That's a wicked deer. For a first buck? Dude, that's a really nice deer. 
Excellent deer. Spenny, can you just give us a quick recap of how it went down? Um, so we were slow stalking it through the bush, slower than I've ever walked in my life. <laughs> and uh, we were creeping up a hill and I thought I saw some something oddly out of place white, scoped up with binoculars, passed him to Adam, confirmed as the shooter, and uh, we took a kneeling shot at him from about 75 and put him down. Deer down, baby. Good job, Adam. <laughs> yeah, that's good. Happy for his first deer. That's good. Dripping with honey, just dripping. Yeah, it's got some stick on the ice, you know, head down the corners. <laughs> yeah. There you go. Watch your tag, buddy. Days of the month. You got the month down? Mm hmm. Beauty. Well done. Up on that log a little bit. Finally paying off to be the camera guy. All right, Spencer and Adam are dealing with the deer. I'm back on the hunt. Hate those things. I did see a couple deer window, and I did bump one other unidentified, big-bodied mule deer, so I don't know what it was. Oh shit, there's a deer. Okay, that was a doe, thank God. That's funny. Less talking, more hunting. So a bit of an update. Adam picked me up, and it turns out he shot a buck, and we're gonna go blood trail it now. He hasn't found it yet, but he went to pick me up, and now we're gonna look for it together. Nice. Hell yeah. Having a hell of a trip, eh? Yeah, a little 4x4. Four four. Oh, he's been yeah. fighting too. A little 4x4. Four four. Congrats, buddy. That's wicked. <laughs> that is awesome. Two bucks down this morning. That's, I don't think I've ever been on a hunt like that. Oh, you hunt with me. That's what happens. That's what happens. <laughs> Soaring for edge. Good. Yeah, we got a buck down. Yeah, we'll probably come down the side by side to grab you, bring you up the hill. I don't know how far away you are. Copy, awaiting. Sweet, this is awesome. Now the pressure's on me, I gotta get one of these things. But I had a good morning, I did see like five or six different deer, all does I think, but it's only our first morning hunting. We got like four or five more days, and uh, yeah, I'm excited. But we'll get this guy cleaned out, we'll drag him back to the truck, we're gonna do some fishing this afternoon, I think tomorrow morning. I might have to come up by myself. That's okay. Anyways, it doesn't get much better than this. Boys are working hard today. Let's go home, buddy, you're drunk. Ready? One, two, three. I can see your deer. Looks Where, good. Where's your deer? Uh, this is gonna be bigger, don't worry.
<laughs> yeah, pretty good. The old 6.5 need more. <laughs> good expansion. Nice. You're dead. You should keep that. I will. Make a necklace out of it. <laughs> Wildly uncomfortable. Skinning with Spencer's new knife, the North Arm Lynx. Kind of sweet if we had a sponsorship. Huh. Now they make good stuff. Totally good stuff. I like it. It's looking good. Looking good. Almost a little more. A little more. There you go, both the deer squared away, looking good, cooling down, and we got a tarp to keep the rain off, keep the sun off. And I don't know if there's room up there for one more, but I'm gonna get one and we're gonna make it happen. So yeah, awesome day hunting. Can't believe it went that well. It rarely does, but you gotta take them when you can get them. Probably have an easy night tonight, maybe throw another movie up on the projector, save the fishing for tomorrow, and maybe a couple of rum and cokes, but uh, it's been a really good day. What do you think? Pretty close. If you're wondering how mule deer tenderloin tastes, tastes like redemption. Redemption. It's very good. Very good. got the patties, the burger patties, so I had to improvise. All right, we got a grouse on the way back to camp. I'm gonna show you guys how to clean it. First, you wanna lay it on his back as if you're gonna fuck it missionary. <laughs> and then, your boots as close to his chest as you can. You pull slowly on the legs. That should pull away the majority of the grouse. And what you're left with is a nice organic grouse breast to eat. You can pull away everything else you go just like that and if you're going to transport it you would need to leave one feathered wing attached for species identification but it's going to be tasty all right been on the lake for like 15 minutes out here on the striker spins hooked up nice fish on the coho spoon yeah beautiful beauty nice Oh, that's wicked. You can't beat that on the fly line. Oh, nice. Oh, oh, oh. Nice one. Yeah. Mr. Fish, beauty. Adam. Thank you, Carly. Nice one. Oh, she's a hog. The bait is on. Oh. Get that underwater shot. Everyone blows. Literally, no one's looking for that. Good morning everybody. It's my last day of hunting. 
I've been out the last couple of days hiking the hills, putting on the kilometers and not seeing a lot, but overnight the weather changed a little bit. And this morning I, I did start seeing deer, I saw some does. The wind was bad, but I hiked up onto a spot with the wind kind of across my left side of my face. And so I was kind of hiking into it a little bit. And I came up over a rise and I saw some muleys and I saw some bucks. I dropped my pack and I kind of crawled into position and I made a shot on a buck and I shot him twice and I saw him go down. It just kind of ran over the top of a hill. So I'm hoping he's down on the other side. I'm just going to give him some time, but super excited last day buck potentially. So give him some time and then uh, we'll go see if we can find him. The suspense is killing me. I've only waited 10 minutes, so I gotta keep waiting. four by four. Oh my god am I excited about this I definitely have my work cut out for me I gotta pack him out I gotta quarter him there's no way I could drag him from here Adam and Spencer are back at camp so they won't even know that I got a deer I think I'm doing this on my own all right so I think my first shot was good so that was a good shot but he was getting away he didn't stop soon enough, so I shot him again, and he was quartered away. So that's not great shooting. This is better shooting, but I just didn't want him to get away, you know, and not be able to find him. So an insurance shot. Might have lost a little meat there, but it is what it is. Beautiful deer. I'm super excited about it. Okay, so I dragged our deer down into some shaded area where I can take my time working on him. It's gonna get warm today, so just wanted to keep the meat in the shade while I work, and then I'm gonna hang it here and make trips, so it's a good spot. I stoked on that buck, and I only got one knife, but it should do it. This is a custom-made knife. Uh, one of the subscribers, Blackburn Handmade Knives, made this one for me, like it a lot. Uh, should Should do the trick. Okay, before I go any further, I figured I'd just show you how far I've gotten. So I got this half of the cape rolled back just about, and that's gonna allow me to pull off the front quarter. I'm gonna get into here for neck meat. I'll be able to get the back strap on his left side. I'm gonna pull off the left hind quarter. At that point, as long as I've got enough meat off the body, I can roll it and repeat the process. Just taking my time with it. It's easy to get excited and rush, and then you could have an action with your knife, so you don't wanna do that. Just taking my time and trying to do a good job, keep the meat clean, but I am stoked. Look at that. That is a back strap. All right, two hours later, two and a half hours later, I got this deer quartered up. Get the four quarters hanging here, back straps, and this is just like miscellaneous I took from between the ribs and on the neck and stuff. So the four quarters and I left one with the tail attached, barely, and there's a testicle hanging there as well so that's for species identification there you go so now i'm gonna start making runs so we got the mystery ranch pack all figured out got the meat shelf in play get the you know, obviously animal's head there but i got a front quarter and a hind quarter and i'm gonna be making two trips i think yeah start going see how see how it feels I'm not gonna try to pack the whole deer <laughs> learn my lesson so two trips minimum Okay, it is now more than a few hours after I started and I got my pack loaded up. This will be the final pack out. This one is gonna be heavier than the first one, but I've only got about two kilometers to go to a spot where I can get down to the meat with the side-by-side. -side. So just gotta get two kilometers uphill and uh, then it'll be smooth sailing. 
at stash spot two. Just gotta go get the side by side and come back down. The guy. Oh, you got one! one. Yeah. Fuck boy. yeah! I'm excited. I'm pumped. Oh, nice! This wow. Good, oh, good looking fuck. deer. Vance, Vance, no, this is not good. Well, you won, <laughs> but it means you gotta do some work. I know. I mean, we're already half cut. Woo! <laughs> no yeah. way, Sky. Well, we had a couple of drinks to celebrate the deer, and now we're gonna go for one last fish. The evening is nice. There's not a lot of wind. Should be nice. Pack it up tomorrow. Hooked up. Spins on netting. Don't spill my beer. Oh yeah, it's a good one, netting. Oh, he's under the boat. Yeah. Nice one. All right, good morning everybody. It's our final day in camp. We're getting packed up. Managed to squeeze two muleys in the back of this truck, one in the back of Adam's truck. And yeah, we're all packed up. We're heading back to town. We can drop these guys off at the butcher shop. Uh, had a wicked week. Three freaking deer, can you believe that? Lots of good fishing, good times at camp. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, we'll be getting home for whitetail in a couple weeks. So if you're interested, we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.